Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Just one month left until the next test flight of Starship. Nah, isn't that amazing? Elon Musk and the SpaceX team are constantly pushing the pace of Starship launches faster and faster. So, what's driving Elon Musk and SpaceX to accelerate the Starship launch schedule like this? What can we expect from the fifth flight? What upgrades have been implemented on the latest version? Let's explore all of this in this video. Looking back in time, while the first Starship launch was impressive, it also left significant consequences. The launch pad suffered serious damage, and the Starship itself revealed a host of technical issues that needed addressing. This led SpaceX to invest considerable time in repairs and postpone the second flight. However, true to its king status in the space race, SpaceX slashed the delay time by more than half for the fourth flight. On June 6, SpaceX launched the Starship from the launch site. This test flight had two main objectives, take Starship further than any previous test, and to demonstrate the reusability of both the Starship and the massive Super Heavy booster. SpaceX achieved its desired reusability goal by gently landing the Super Heavy booster in the Gulf of Mexico. Specifically, SpaceX is attempting to simulate a virtual catch by landing the Super Heavy booster on the water as the next step will be landing this massive rocket on solid ground. Additionally, SpaceX's minimum goal is for the Starship to withstand intense heat during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere due to friction. Remarkably, SpaceX not only met the set goal, but also landed the Starship precisely within the designated area. Currently, Elon Musk has referred to Flight 5. Although both rocket stages were successfully recovered, Elon Musk still cited reasons for the delay of Flight 5, necessary changes that need to be made. SpaceX is planning significant upgrades to the Starship's heat shield, one of the most complex components of the spacecraft. This heat shield is tasked with protecting the spacecraft during Earth re-entry. Musk mentioned that SpaceX intends to add an additional layer of reinforcement to the new Starship to enhance protection and stability. Currently, SpaceX is using 18,000 hexagonal ceramic tiles, similar to the heat shields on NASA's space shuttles. During re-entry, the exterior temperature of the rocket can reach up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt aluminum, a metal commonly used in the structure of many spacecraft. Elon Musk has confirmed plans to upgrade the heat shield for Starship 5 in a recent tweet. He mentioned that an additional protective layer will be added beneath the main heat-resistant tiles. This layer will act as a backup shield, ensuring the rocket's safety, even if some tiles come loose. These new shields are expected to be twice as durable, or at least have the rate of cracking, compared to the old version. In the fourth test flight, SpaceX secretly tested this secondary shield layer. As mentioned, the heat shield is one of the most notable upgrades of Starship 5. But that's not all. Another aspect SpaceX is particularly concerned about is the hot stage separation on top of the Super Heavy booster. This component plays a crucial role in separating the two rocket stages during flight. In the fourth test flight, to reduce the weight of Booster 11 upon returning to Earth, SpaceX proactively removed the hot stage separation. Although removing the hot stage separation on Starship 4 was merely a situational solution to reduce the weight of the booster, it posed limitations on the rapid reusability of Starship. Therefore, SpaceX's plan to design a new hot stage separation, eliminating the need to remove it entirely in the future, is an extremely positive step forward. Furthermore, Starship 5 is predicted to feature upgraded roll control thrusters. This system will help SpaceX precisely control the landing process and direction of the rocket, minimizing incidents such as thruster valve clogs that occurred on the third flight. The roll control system has been integrated since Starship Prototype 29, and the success of the fourth flight further reinforces the decision to improve and integrate this system into subsequent versions. Finally, the Super Heavy Booster will continue to be improved and upgraded in the future. In the fourth Starship flight, two engines on the Super Heavy failed to ignite during launch and landing. Fortunately, this did not affect the overall success of the mission. Surely SpaceX will spare no effort to prevent this issue from recurring. Despite continuous improvements to the Raptor engines across Starship iterations, 
SpaceX is still striving to eliminate complex life failure-prone components such as wiring systems and combustion chambers to enhance operational efficiency. However, the necessary reliability has not yet been achieved as expected. The next upgrades will focus on two factors, operational stability and increased power. The process of improving the Raptor engines is relentless, not limited to a specific version, but encompassing the entire system. From Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, Raptor 3, and even future iterations. Every smallest detail will be refined, gradually transforming the Raptor engine into the reliable heart of the Starship. One of the issues to address is the complexity of internal engine components. SpaceX is striving to remove, simplify, or integrate intricate details, like wiring systems and combustion chambers. In doing so, they not only minimize the risk of malfunctions, but also shorten repair and manufacturing time. Significantly increasing engine power. The lesson learned from the third flight is the malfunction in the thrust engine of Booster 10. The identified cause was a clogged filter, preventing liquid oxygen from moving from the tank to the engine, resulting in increased input pressure loss for the high-pressure oxygen pump. To address this issue, SpaceX has improved the fuel filter inside the liquid oxygen tank since Booster 11 and subsequent versions. However, the recent malfunction on Booster 11 indicates they need to put in more effort. SpaceX commits to closely monitoring and further strengthening internal systems to ensure absolute reliability, the Starship. Following the successful landing of both rocket stages in the sea, SpaceX is aiming for a revolutionary step, using the Mechazilla arm to catch Super Heavy Booster 12 right from the fifth Starship flight. This is the first time a space organization has tested this bold landing method. Unlike previous landings, the initial touch point of Booster 12 will be in a secret location. From there, the rocket needs to autonomously navigate towards the Mechazilla Arm Tower to execute the catch. If during the maneuver, Booster 12 detects any potential hazards, it will activate a suicide mode, self-destruct by plunging into the sea. If everything goes smoothly, the Mechazilla Arm will complete its mission, ushering in the era of reusability for giant rockets. However, the success depends heavily on the flight condition of Booster 12. The rocket can adjust its trajectory autonomously to ensure safety for the catching tower in case of any mishaps. Remarkably, these autonomous features have already been integrated into launch vehicle, ensuring maximum safety. Meanwhile, companion of Booster 12, Starship 30, will continue to land in the sea. But this time, with the promised significantly upgraded heat shield, Starship 30 has much better heat resistance during atmospheric re-entry. This is a crucial step towards SpaceX's goal of fully reusing their giant rockets. After completing the bold catching test, SpaceX will look further ahead. The Moon, Mars, or any other celestial bodies in the universe. Powerful engines, advanced heat shields, everything will be ready for ambitious voyages. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your comments on today's broadcast. Don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to the channel for continuous updates on interesting information. Goodbye and see you in the next video.